This is a classic one you've seen me do with Lilia, which is the, I, I, I don't know if I'll call it abusing, but utilizing Asterios' passive of increased stats to our advantage. If you don't know, Asterios' basic stat increase works with any character in the game. So if we do this, it's going to give six stacks of darkness and max Zeldra's passive, which is a massive, massive basic stat boost for our Ascanor. Again, it still works. So next turn, when we attack again with Hendrix, it's going to be a 45% basic stat increase from Asterosa and a 24% increase from Zeldris. So essentially, your Ascanor is going to have super, super high attack. It's just really, really good. It works with so many characters. I'm not sure how it's going to pan out, but 37.2k with 400,000 HP. That's pretty good. I mean, let's do this. This will max out. Uh, the darkness stack essentially. We won't attack again because then we will lose darkness. Oh, we could have actually. It would have been four darkness. No, no, no I could. <laughs> I, could have. I could have actually. But I wanted to double attack Ascular so that we would take off um, stacks from him. And I was hoping it would kill, but okay. There's no point in applying like encroachment to Ascular or anything because his stats cannot be lowered. So I didn't bother doing that. But next turn... I was going to say if we survive, because that, that, that was going to hit really hard. We can, in fact, apply encroachment to both Gaffer and... Um, Sario. And it's going to re hit really, really hard. On only two units is pretty good. Last match, I kind of confused Estorosa's passive with Merlin's passive. Because, of course, Merlin, when you reach the maximum stacks, you lose the stacks, right? Uh, but not with, not with Estorosa. Let's do this. This. Not with Estorosa, of course. With Estorosa, uh, you can have four darkness and then attack. You only lose the darkness when the uh, encroachment goes away, right? That's how it works. Um, like, even if you stack four darkness, if the character is, like, immune and it can't be encroached, the four darkness just stays, right? That's how it works. So I kind of forgot that. I've been playing so much of Merlin. Um, and not so much of Esteros. I feel like, uh, you know, they've been releasing so many meta-relevant characters that... I've been playing with so many different things recently, right? So many different things. This is an HP defense Ascular. <laughs> um, this will be three stacks on everyone. Let's do this. Of course, Ascular cannot be encroached, so when he gets encroached here, it will be irrelevant. But I really want to see if I can kill the DN. Our attack's going to be super high again, 38.7. It's going to be even higher next turn. And then the AoE. Can we kill the end here? She's gonna have three darkness, so that's 30% more damage. And we <laughs> just actually obliterate her. Wow. Jetta stands up, right? She wasn't encroached either. Like, if she was encroached, of course, I would expect him to kill. But she wasn't encroached, it was just three darkness, which. Kind of subsets the uh, damage decrease she had from having the stance. Like, she had damage reduction, right? Uh, 40%, but... Darkness kind of... Asteros is dead. Oh! Has HP defense Askenar. To be fair, the finger attack does less damage. The less health you have. Oh, that still killed. Yeah, they fixed the, the finger attack. Well, it doesn't matter, because uh, <laughs> he's asking her in surviving this. Oh, this poor guy. He's just trying to get a challenger for the coins, man. Poor guy. Ooh. Attacks your team, okay. Ooh, that's bad. Mm. <clears throat> I'm gonna do this. 
See if I can kill him first turn. That's bad. He will attack Sumi next turn. Oh, I'm not killing. Tar me only because not gonna allow me. Oh, perfect, perfect. That's good. I want to. I want to take out his um. His uh, revive right away, right? And then we, we'll encroach him next turn. <clears throat> We're gonna kill Asking. Or, or he's probably gonna kill himself. He's probably gonna do, double attack. And then we'll use the debuffs to encroach the Merlin. Like he won't stop her from attacking us again, but she won't do any damage either. Oh, Gaffer. Oh, he's a. Uh, <laughs> He didn't attack with As Askador. That's cute. I mean, he doesn't know I have two debuffs for uh, Hendrix and... Like, you know... Statistically speaking... Um, very, very difficult for me to actually have two more debuff cards for Hendrickson. Right? The chances of that were pretty low. Because I have just used two of them. Yeah, he won't do any damage this turn, but he can't attack me again. Or no, I think Gaffer might actually not do damage. Let's see. Yeah. Wow. Level 3? He had a good idea though. Like the, um, th that's exactly what we should have done. Go for the attack seal. And then try to remove my ultimate gauge so I can't total rush. Another attack ceiling team. Hmm. Merlin's time really right? I think we can kill her. If these two hits connect. I think we kill her, because again, we're gonna be increasing our attack by so much. Having six stacks of darkness and Zeldris, yeah. That's an easy kill. Now he can still attack seal me, obviously, with Galfer. Ah, um, okay. But he can stop me from ult rushing. So he, he won't be able to ult rush and attack seal me. That's just very, very hard. Or did he? No, I don't think so. Yeah, that would be really tough for him to do. So I can do that instead. Like the... One of the big things that Merlin does is not only attack seal, but also stop you from ult rushing, right? With the debuff card. Much, much scarier than Red Galfer. Red Galfer can, in fact, attack seal you for two turns. But. You can still ult rush during those turns. Asking is not dying. Oh, I just recorded a video on this team. Pretty good, actually. I'm still sort of a Liz hater, but I can see her being like a unit. I actually say he's good now. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna take away his um, his thing in the first turn. Like I'm not attacking with the maximum possible stats here. Like obviously because. There's, there were only six stacks of darkness, but it's attack enough, right? Six stacks is 30%, and then 24% from Zeldris. 54% attack is pretty good. And also, he's, he's, he also buffs his own stats by 4%, which is it, it, also there, right? It'd be great to see something like this, the 54% attack increase. Plus, like, something like uh, Ludosio. Yep. Obviously, of course, we, we want to see the 74% attack, right? 50 plus 24. It's just sometimes it's not possible. She got, like, you know, 10 darkness. Um, let's make sure Liz is dead. And uh, this should be able to kill. I mean, I don't know, Tarmio Link is, uh, scary. But so is Asterosa. Oh, this is a match that you need to kill one of them in the first turn. That is Philo. If you don't kill Philo in the first turn, it's over. Oh, 
But she is pretty squishy, so. Not like it's the toughest of challenges. And then, without Philo, <laughs> the Merlin team doesn't have much, to be honest. Let's let's do the uh, the encroachment here. Uh, we're gonna have we're gonna have ten darkness. So it's gonna be seventy four percent attack for Askinar. Actually, Zaldrus will lower a little bit because if you don't know. Askenor's own stats can't be lowered, but added stats can. So he will lower 10 of those um, 74, but let's pretend. Um, that's AoE. That's AoE. I was going to single target, but that's AoE. Because we're going to have two encroached enemies. Really? They didn't have much on Merlin. Maybe I should have fingered. I was expecting to just wipe both, honestly. Maybe I was, uh, I was too optimistic uh, with the AoE card, the full health, right? If it was like zero health, asking her, maybe I should have, I should have uh, done that. The full health, the finger would have done it. I should have done the finger. Ooh, mono red, scary. Scary. Ooh, three darkness first turn. That's nice. He's probably gonna go for the kill on uh, Hendrix anyways. So getting three darkness off the bat is really, really good. Okay, I was kind of scared he would have dodge. There's been a lot of dodge, dodge Reinhardt players, which is not bad. Obviously, with HP food, you do more damage and you tank better. But it does catch people off guard when you have uh, when you have dodge. It, it really gets, uh, catches people off guard. Yeah, he's probably gonna kill Hendrickson. If he can. Hendrickson has a lot of HP. Like, obviously, when you think of Hendrickson, you don't think of him as being, like, a super potent character. But you gotta keep in mind, we are increasing his stats by a lot here. 9 Darkness and Zelda's passive maxed out. How much HP does he have? 459,000 and 25,000 defense, right? Um, and we're gonna encroach everyone. Yeah, yeah, let's do this. That's gonna be a ton of damage. No, I wanted to see damage on everyone, like for the finger attack, but that was pretty good. He killed Arthur. Then the 500 level one on Reinhardt. Yeah, oh, should have checked his attack! No! Because I had 9 darkness, but... It would have been like 40k. Something like that. I mean, it's not like 40k is like that high of an attack stat. We've seen very high attack stats, right? Like, Brynhilde with 100,000 attack. You know, we've seen shit like that. So... But it's still nice seeing, right? Let's play just one more. Ooh, we got a human team with uh, Askener. It's a much better team than the, the other team, actually. <laughs> uh, blue Tarmio, okay. I would not recommend using Blue Tarmio on a character that can't heal once he's dead. No dodge. I mean, okay. No character can heal once they're dead. The way I phrased that was kind of weird, but I don't recommend Blue Tarmio specifically, because obviously when you get to this state, he can't heal. And it can't really help you not getting to this state. Red Tarmio can. So I'll put like blue Tarmio some somewhere else. Another character. Ooh, oh crits. Also keep in mind, Asterosa does also have very high stats. Same thing with Hendrickson. Or the same thing as Hendrickson, right? Uh, we have less darkness now because Ascaron died and lost his darkness, but yeah, 400,000 HP. Uh, no Hendrickson card. Let's do this. I want to make sure he dies. Let's, let's do this. No, I did too much damage. Okay. This poor guy, he doesn't have Arthur's Relic. 
I'll quit for him. This <laughs> this poor guy doesn't have Arthur's relic. I'll 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 give him a. Uh... I don't have any nice one. I'll give him a. And back out. Poor guy. He doesn't have Twiggle in the back. But this this guy doesn't have Twiggle's relic probably. All right. That was fun though. That was fun. Always fun using Ascanor. So can't go wrong.